Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are here visiting the Lincoln Memorial here in Washington, D.C. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting the Lincoln Memorial. As of the release of this video, this is actually the most visited monument in the entire National Mall here in Washington, D.C. The goal of this video is simple, to tell you a little bit more about it and show you around so that you know what you'll find if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. Just as I did on the last video on my channel where we visited the Washington Monument, I'll start with the basics. This place is a U.S. national monument built in honor of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. The memorial is located within the National Mall and as we established in our last video, right across from the Washington Monument. The Lincoln Memorial is over this way and if you turn around, Right over there is the Washington Monument. I actually made a dedicated video about the Washington Monument on my channel, so if that interests you, I'll leave it in the description down below for you to check out. In this area right here, filled with water, is the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool. As the name suggests, it should reflect the memorial under the right conditions. Let's make our way to the other side and check it out. I can already see the Washington Monument being reflected, so my hopes are up. And as we make our way to the other side, I just wanted to show you how this place is not completely full today. So you'll see a lot of people taking pictures inside of it. So today I can say that I was inside of the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool. Check it out you guys, I think they're starting to fill it out. Okay, so I have made it to the other side and you can actually see a reflection of the memorial. But as you can see, the pool is not completely full. So I guess we'll have to wait until they're done filling it up. You can kind of see a reflection right there. The memorial itself is modeled after a Greek temple known as the Parthenon. And as you can see, it does give you a very Greek architecture vibe. The stairs are known as the Lincoln Memorial Steps. And as you can see, they begin right at the edge of the reflecting pool. These rise all the way up to the entrance of the memorial. The memorial is surrounded by 36 columns, which you can't really see because we're in the front, but trust me on this one. These represent the 36 states that were in the Union at the time of Lincoln's death. Looking up, you can see the roof. And if we look closer, you can actually see two things. On the first section, you can see inscribed the names of the 36 states at the time of Lincoln's death. These are also in the order in which they joined the Union. At the very top, you can see inscribed the names of the 48 states present at the time of the memorial's dedication. As you might know, and as of the time of this recording, the US has 50 states, which means that two were left out, right? If we come back to the steps, you will see that there's a plaque on the floor which honors both Alaska and Hawaii, which became states decades after the memorial's dedication. Isn't that just so interesting? And we're still on the outside. We still have to go in and experience that. But first, I want to tell you a little bit more about this place's history. Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in 1865, just as the Civil War was coming to an end. In 1867, the Lincoln Memorial Association was created to honor the 16th U.S. President. As mentioned before, the inspiration for the project was a Greek temple known as the Parthenon. The idea was that a memorial dedicated to a man who defended democracy should be based on a structure found in the birthplace of democracy, aka Greece. The project was slowed down by major historical events such as the Reconstruction period, after the Civil War, and World War I. Ultimately, the monument was completed in 1922, 57 years after Lincoln's death. Some trivia for you guys, a Greek temple was not the only design considered. Other design options included an Egyptian pyramid, 
a step Mayan temple, and a cigarette, which is also like a pyramid but from ancient Mesopotamia. The dedication ceremony for the memorial was actually segregated, despite Lincoln being known as the Great Emancipator. For context, the dedication was in 1922, almost 60 years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Lastly, the memorial became an important symbol of the American Civil Rights Movement in the 1950s and 60s. The Lincoln Memorial steps were actually the backdrop of Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. That famous speech was held in 1963, on the 100th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. So the stairs behind me are the place where MLK gave his famous speech in front of more than 200,000 people. It's crazy to think about and today I'm getting shy in front of I don't even know how many people came here today. Of course, he was fighting for a great cause. Alright you guys, it's finally time for us to head inside, let's go! And as you're making your way inside, you can start to see the amazing views that you get of the Washington Monument from the entrance of the Lincoln Memorial. Boom! Check that out. The inside of the memorial is divided into three chambers, north, central, and south. These chambers are divided by four huge columns which support the ceiling. Let's check out the north and south chambers before we come back to the main piece. And check it out you guys, I met some really cool people at the memorial, they wanted to say hi. Hey! Nice meeting you guys. In the chambers you will find inscriptions, this one is on the north chamber and it's of Lincoln's second inaugural address. And on the south chamber you will find an inscription of Lincoln's Gettysburg address. And for those of you grammar nerds out there, you can actually see a corrected typo on the north chamber inscription. Let me show you. See right there the word future? You can see that the F was corrected from an E. The more you know. On the top of the north and the south chambers, you will also find murals. This one on the north chamber is titled Emancipation and references the emancipation of slaves as proclaimed by Abraham Lincoln. And this one on the south chamber is titled Unity in reference to the efforts of the US to keep the Union together after the Civil War. And finally, we get back here to the center chamber. In here, you will find a 19-foot statue of Abraham Lincoln. And as you can see, it features Abraham Lincoln sitting on an armchair, looking very serene. The statue itself took four years to complete, but as you can see, it was well worth the time as it looks amazing. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is actually the most visited monument on the National Mall here in DC. I'll show you a few more different angles. Just like that you guys, we made it to the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind, I'll see you next time.